Hello, my name is Kaya Sumachayo, and I am a first-generation Ugandan-Kenyan-American. I'm grateful that I was raised to value education, and I truly believe that one of the best ways to encourage girls into STEM fields is to teach us that we belong. And I believe that using arts, music, and culture is a wonderful tool to encourage us to know that we are rooted in something greater and that when we face obstacles, we can overcome them because we have a fortitude within us to do so. I believe that the change we create when we pursue STEM fields as girls is beyond ourselves, that it is truly going to be transformative for generations to come, teaching us that when we resolve to do something, when we resolve to enter into an industry that seemingly wasn't created for us, we can create change and hope for future generations to come and for ourselves as well. Hello everyone, my name is Delia Lua Dupree and I come from the Commonwealth of Dominica. I am currently living and working in Beijing, China for the for over 10 years now. I am the current youth envoy at the China Silk Du Forum based in Beijing. Um, thank you so much to Miss Johnny for having me participate on this panel. I do appreciate the thoughts and I am so very happy to have been able to connect with someone like her and the work that her organization is doing to be able to just bring connectivity to people of different backgrounds so that we may learn and grow together. Now pertaining to the topic of this event, how has technology played a key factor in connecting people of African descent, especially throughout this pandemic? I have to say that due to how the pandemic has played out, it has allowed people to really highlight their stories and to share their stories around the world so that we are more aware as to what is going on. Um, it might have been going on all along, but now a light has been shone on it. And I have to say that I am very fortunate to be able to be exposed to so much of these stories, especially here in um, Asia, so that we may learn more about different peoples of African descent and also know, learn where they come from and know that no matter where you go, there is a community that you can actually connect with and be able to feel a kind of camaraderie with them. So. I am grateful that this pandemic has allowed us as human beings to connect more with each other, to understand the meaning of connectivity and also the meaning of emotional awareness so that we may be more aware of others and their different stories. So for me in particular, I am still here in Beijing, although my family is not with me, but I am happy that I am able to connect with people like you so that I may also be able to feel like I am a part of a wider family worldwide. So that is it for me and my story and what I think about connectivity and the technology throughout this age, especially throughout pandemic. And then my final message is, of course, because it is Women's Day, I want to just say something to all women out there, is that to continue to shed your, shine your light brightly and unapologetically because you are amazing. And to the people, to the men who support women, I just want to say thank you so much for the continuous support because only together can we achieve more. It's, n it's not a battle that only one one person can win. We have to continuously work together so that everyone has the same equal rights. Thank you again and I wish everyone an amazing, amazing month and year.